Eerie incident inside a local courtroom. A woman under arrest after threatening to stab a prosecutor. Yeah, fortunately, no one was hurt. But it turns out the woman did have a knife. And Bob Jones is live for us in Barberton. Looking into this case, and Bob, this raises some serious security questions. Well, there are no metal detectors inside Barberton Municipal Court, so it is quite easy for something like a knife to go undetected. And tonight, the police chief tells me that whatever happened here yesterday could have ended tragically. News Channel 5 obtained this booking video of Terrell Baker after her arrest and after police found this knife with a three inch blade on it in her purse. Minutes earlier, police say Baker, an alleged victim in a domestic violence case, went off during a hearing in this courtroom, yelled at the judge, and threatened to stab a prosecutor, something she repeated in booking. I said, I'm going to stab that. I'm stabbing. You said you're going to stab that. You can't say that in a court building. After the courtroom outburst, police say Baker left the building, but officers tracked her down outside and found that knife. She was charged with inducing panic, retaliation, and carrying a concealed weapon. A lot of times people make threats, but they don't have the means to carry it out. It's just idle. She, she could have pulled that out and started cutting. The incident raises security worries in a building that has some security cameras, but no metal detectors. Why don't you have metal detectors? So... I don't know. We've never, we've just, we've never had them here. Part of it's the cost, and part of it's where do you put them. The city plans to apply for technology grants, hoping to get those metal detectors. Chief Morber told me the incident with Baker highlights just how serious the need is. Everybody is, like, whoa, we don't have people uh, threatening to kill prosecutors or stab prosecutors every day. And this building was actually built in the 1950s, and the police chief believes what is actually needed is a new building, something the city has been looking at and examining for years now. Live in Barberton tonight, Bob Jones, News Channel 5. Thank you.